Hi everyone, this is Ranjit. Welcome to my channel. This video I will explain about the whole option available in FreeCAD. So to do that, I'll start a new geometry, new body. Then I'll go for sketching. Then I'll select the plane and I'll create a rectangular box. The dimensions are 100 into 200. Then close. This is my sketch. I'm going for the pad operation. Then I'll make it 50. So this is my rectangular box and I'm going to create a hole. To create a hole, I need a sketch here. Actually, the sketch is actually a reference because based on that sketch, you can create any number of threads, standard threads or holes. I'll show you. So to create uh, before that, sorry, I need to select the face then select the sketch then you can draw over the surface so I'm going to draw a circle here this is actually a dummy circle or you can consider as a guide circle close and this is my guide circle I'll create one more sketch because I'll show you how to change the or how to switch between the sketches so again select this face then go for sketch and I'll create another circle with a, with a different diameter and close so I have two sketches sketch 1 and sketch 2 I can name it as this is hole 1 and this is hole 2 so this is my hole 1 and this is my hole 2 you can you can select you can change after creating the a hole or the thread you can change it any any time but in this case the easiest thing you first select which hole you want to create the hole or the opening so this case I'm going to select the hole 2 and I'll press the hole automatically a hole is created but can you see the hole is actually the, the, the diameter of the hole is already reduced why because it, it is assigned with some standard profiles so this case you can assign ISO metric regular profile metric fine profile UT, UTS course profile so a lot of options are there this case I am going to select the ISO metric regular profile and the diameter is M1 which means metric 1 1 millimeter radius sorry diameter uh, hole so I am going to change this into M8 so now the hole is little bit visible because this is an M8 hole it is, a, it is a standard hole so you don't have to worry about the dimension that is the standards uh, whether you are creating suppose you are creating by the parametric way that is if you want to create a thread hole by adopting all the ASTM or ISO standards then you need to sketch the hole first uh, sorry the diameter uh, the circle first then extrude then create the thread that is actually take that will take a lot of time in this case you can directly create all these options and it will be based on standards the, uh, depth you can change and there will be some standard size or charts, uh, char charts available then in this case I am keeping it as 25 mm then uh, you can change the standard or close type uh, clearance whatever what are all the clearance required for this one similarly you can create the thread then uh, you can select the class of the thread 4G, 4H what are the required class you can select then similarly you can model the thread and you can update the thread in the thread view so you can see the threads inside the hole and I'm going to keep it as a through hole yeah it's a throw hole and I'm going to increase the uh, clear uh, you can increase the clearance or similarly you can increase the hole depth by dimension all these things you can uh, the, the for the thread the depth everything you can control it from here similarly hole cut type also you can vary suppose you want a countersink hole you can change this into countersink and you can also adjust the countersink angle and depth everything you can adjust then similarly you need a drill point flat or angled uh, that that can also be adjusted here so this is how we create a standard profile so press ok this is your standard countersunk hole 
suppose you want another hole you can select this one and go for the hole option then you can select any profile then if you want thread you can model the thread and you can select the whether it is left hand or right hand everything you can select similarly you want counter bore or counter sink everything you can select and similarly you can adjust the depth so in this case I'm going to reduce the depth okay then close it so this is it sometimes you need to change the hole suppose you want a counter sink hole here and counter bore here you can change by selecting the hole and you can go to the hole option then you can see the sketch from the sketch you can change the hole and press ok then you will have similarly you need to change the previous hole also because it will there there will be a duplication so if you go to sketch 2 yes you, change, you must change this into uh, hole 1 yeah now this is the countersunk and this is the counter board this is the way you interchange between the sketches and you can create with the help of this option you can easily create standard holes let me know if you have any doubts feel free to post your questions in the comment section I will address them to the best of my knowledge thank you don't forget to subscribe my channel press the bell icon for updates and please share your comments and likes they really encourage me to keep going and I'm going to release a lot of videos related to solid modeling simulation structural analysis computational fluid dynamics thank you